Welcome to Transportation Fundamentals. I am Todd Sparks and this screencast is for Boise State University for the YouTube for Educators 533 course. Our topics include our first chart today which is the USM or Universal Systems Model. Henceforth we will refer to the Universal Systems Model as the USM then we will take a look at our second chart, the transportation taxonomy. The USM is made up of six steps. These steps define a system. Every new or improved technology must use the USM in order to produce the technology. The first step in the USM is the goal. The next step is the criteria. Following that step, is our inputs. And our inputs has seven subsystems with it. The following step would be processes and then next we have outputs and finally rounding out the entire system we have our feedback. The goal lets us know what we want to accomplish and what the stated problem is. We record the stated problem and the goal John is going to show us how the USM is applied to solving our problem. The criteria lets us know what we can and cannot do what we are allowed to use, how much time we have, etc. This step lets us know what our limits are. It is very important that we pay close attention to this step so we do not plan for something that we do not have available to us later on. In the inputs step, we find out what we will have available to us to accomplish our goal. In the development of the new or improved technology, all seven inputs are used and cannot be developed if all seven inputs are not available. The inputs include people, time, money, which is also known as capital, energy, materials, information, and then finally rounding this off we have tools and machines and this is one input. During the processes stage we manage and produce the method of transportation technology. Management includes the organization of inputs to ensure maximum benefit and efficiency. This also includes decision making on product testing data. Some of the questions asked are, does it work or does it not work? And what do we need to do to make it work if it didn't? The production part of our processes <clears throat> creates a lot of feedback for answering questions. How well is the production of the transportation technology operating? Can improvements be made to maximize efficiency? These are just a few of the many questions that need to be answered. Here John has come up with an idea. The output tells us a lot about our solution. The most obvious is, did we achieve our goal of solving the stated problem? If so, then what impacts did this have on us and our environment? <clears throat> Were the impacts positive and benefit all? Or was there a mix of positive and negative impacts? Or were all impacts negative? 
Did the final product match our intended goal? Or were there any unintended results? These are some of the questions we answer during the during and after the testing process of the technology. The final step in the USM is feedback. We obtain feedback throughout the entire system. However, most of the feedback occurs in the processing and the output stages. We find out if we need to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new solution to our stated problem, or just make revisions to our solution, or our solution worked out great for us. And finally, a quick review of our USM. Our first step is goal. Our second step is criteria. And we have input. And remember, we have seven inputs here. And we have processes. We have two processes. Outputs, three outputs, and then our feedback. And we obtain our feedback through the entire system. We are now going to talk about the transportation taxonomy. The word taxonomy means to organize information based on its natural classification. In our case of transportation, we are going to organize our information based on environments. And we have four of those environments. The first environment is land. And we have two subsystems of land, and that's stationary and vehicular. Then we have water. And our two subsystems here are inland and oceanic. And we have air and our two subsystems are lighter than air and heavier than air. And finally, our fourth environment is space, and we have staffed and unstaffed. Also included in this taxonomy, we have two modes, and our modes are to move people and to move freight. And then we have two routes, and our routes can either be fixed or they can be random. Examples of land transportation based on stationary subsystems would include elevators, conveyor belts, escalators, and pipelines. Some examples of vehicular transportation would include cars, trains, bikes, motorcycles, skateboards, scooters, and many more. Examples of water transportation based on the inland subsystem would include personal watercraft, boats, canoes, rafts, and others. Some examples of oceanic transportation would include ships, barges, submarines, surfboards, and many, many more. In the water environment, there are many methods of transportation that can be used in both inland and oceanic waterways. Examples of air transportation based on lighter-than-air subsystems would include hot air balloons. Some examples of heavier-than-air transportation systems would include planes, helicopters, gliders, and a few more. And finally, in our last environment, Examples of space transportation, uh, we have staffed uh, subsystem, and in that we would include the space shuttle and space station. Some examples of unstaffed transportation would include rockets, missiles, and satellites. Example of our modes for moving people, we can use cruise liners of many different brands. We can use trains. We can use uh, commercial airlines. Examples of uh, moving freight would include barges, ships, uh, trucks, uh, you name it. Anything that would carry any kind of cargo or freight uh, could be classified uh, as uh, in that example. Examples of fixed routes could include um, Ferris wheels and pipelines as a, as a big one. We certainly transport a lot of gases and fluids and pipelines. And then we have roller coasters, 
And examples of random routes would include bicycles, uh, trucks that are able to go off-road, four-wheelers, anything of that nature. And a quick review of our USM uh, to finalize our uh, broadcast here. We have our first step, which is goal. Then our second step is criteria and inputs. In our inputs, we have our seven inputs. People, time, money, energy, materials, information, and again, tools and machines are one input. And there is no specific order in this uh, in these seven inputs, but all seven must be there. Then we move on to processes, and we either manage and produce, and then we move on to outputs, and we have impacts with our outputs, and our impacts can either be positive or negative. And we also have intended results based on our uh, stated problem and our goal, and then we have unattended results. And finally, we end through the entire process with feedback, and we obtain our feedback uh, through this entire system. And this tells us how we're doing with our, our problem and solving that problem. And then next, uh, we have a quick review of our transportation taxonomy. And our four environments, again, are land, water, air, and space. And each of these environments has two subcategories or two subsystems. In land, we have stationary and vehicular. In water, we have inland and oceanic. In air, we have lighter than air and heavier than air, and staffed and unstaffed in our space environment. And then our two modes are we either move people or freight, or we move both. And then the routes that we uh, apply our transportation to include fixed and random. Thank you for viewing my first screencast, and I look forward to your comments. All pictures were obtained from the internet from websites that provide free, royalty-free photos. Thank you again, and have a great day.